there's one duet, and it's very short, but it's where the female character is chasing the male character. That's not typical in the way that stories are told. At the very end, he's so afraid of her that all of a sudden, he jumps into her arms, and you just don't expect it, and then she carries the dancer off. It almost looks physically impossible, and it always gets a laugh. I mean, the humor in the work is really important to emphasize, important for me to emphasize that humor is very hard to choreograph. But he finds it in the music, it's not force. He finds a way to make just the turn of a head be able to make that into humor. The other thing that I think is important to emphasize with the score and with the dance is the interplay between jazz and classical. There are moments where the composition is playing within a sense of taking something that sounds almost classical, but because of the syncopation, making it jazz. There's a moment in the dance where all of a sudden the dancers are doing what we call in ballet, petite allegro, the fast footwork, and it's very much straight from the classical ballet book. It's unexpected because it comes out of nowhere in some ways. But that kind of interplay is something that Duke Ellington was known for, and the way Mr. Ailey captures it is, is brilliant. Because often, people who study one or the other, especially young people, they almost think that they're completely separate things. And the way he does that moment with the classical dance, the petit allegro, it almost sort of weds these two forms in this sort of seamless way.